Crystal is an early access Souls-like fantasy RPG which sees us face off against gigantic rats, murlocs and Sylvester Stallone without makeup in a quick and merciless combat system, while we utilize the agile physique of our feline character testing out how many lives they actually have. It's, it's just one. After realizing my own shortcomings in Soul-like games, I finished the first part and episode of the storyline of Crystalla in about 4 hours and can tell you if it is a real fun or a refund. Starting off by picking one of two races, a fur color we fancy, a fitting name, <laughs> sir, meow a lot, and a class, we wander into the world of Crystalla as a new initiate to prove their worth by taking down Cherry and his roided cousins. Armed with metal claws or a sword and a shield, we slash our way through various mice-based enemies with light and heavy attacks, spells we can unlock and melee skills, each using up mana. Every enemy goes for the kill, which means we need to dodge or block their attacks. With a well-timed block, we can parry their attacks, reducing their balance bar and open them up for a brutal finisher straight out of a Tekken game. KO! Our own balance and stamina bar needs to be constantly watched as well, since blocking and dodging spans this valuable resource, leaving us open for incoming damage. Our survivability increases with the various armor types we can wear, but more on that later. The combat system itself can be further built upon with the mentioned spells the currently two races are provided with, like a life drain, a visually underwhelming AoE attack or a weapon buff poisoning our enemies. These spells can be found and unlocked at crystals, functioning not only as respawn points, but also as shrines to level up and obtain new skills. The character customization sees us spend gathered resources to enhance our character stat points, beefing up our stamina bar, increasing our weapon damage or helping us survive more incoming hits with a bigger health bar to name a few examples. The spells we can unlock are currently race specific, meaning once we pick either one of them, the choices of possible skills is locked, with one focusing on bleeding and life draining skills, while the other fiddles with poisons and health regeneration. Each skill can be further enhanced with more level ups, but since the first episode of the storyline doesn't offer too many spell unlockings, I for one unlocked more skills rather than beefing up existing ones. Each magical or melee skill takes mana to use, which can be regenerated over time or by using one of the different consumables. These are especially valuable regarding the health regeneration, since players with my skill level, which is close to zero, oh, come on, not again, heavily benefit from these items. One way to enhance the survivability is to equip stronger armor, which we can find in the numerous villages and huts we get to explore, hidden behind red vines and parkour areas. 360 spin onto the palace backflip gainer. Yeah. Yeah. Parkour, parkour! parkour. Each gear piece provides us with various defense stats and a weight load, which isn't yet active, so there is actually no benefit for a lighter armor set other than a more challenging playthrough, which I, I definitely don't need. This slight disappointment aside, the exploration of the game is actually quite fun. Jumping on top of buildings like a, well, a cat, finding different caves and villages, which layouts we really need to keep in mind, since there is no map whatsoever requiring us to remember the different locations. Each location, however, has their own type of enemies and guided by a talkative witch Have you brought the herbs? and a simple quest log we can track our progress quite nicely and know when to advance into the next biome. Apart from the currently missing features like the weight load system or the talent tree and the various minor and the major bugs I encountered, the tough combat system paired with the parkour exploration and the beautiful biomes accompanied by serene soundtracks show the great promise Crystalla has, resulting in Crystalla being a real fun with potential for a much much higher score in the future. Would you agree with my verdict? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to clean yourself. Not like that.